Lake Champlain is an extraordinary natural resource nestled between New York, Vermont, and Quebec. But the lake and its tributaries are being negatively affected by human activities on the land. Lake Champlain Sea Grant works to develop and share science-based information to improve the environment and economy of the Lake Champlain Basin. Aquatic invasive species are animals, plants, and other organisms living in the water that have established populations outside of their traditional geographic range, often as a result of human actions. They can be harmful to native species and people alike. Aquatic invasive species generally lack natural predators or they have the ability to outcompete similar native species. As a result, if they're introduced into a water body, their populations explode. These overpopulations can interfere with recreational fishing activities, boating activities, water intakes, and they can also raise havoc with native species biodiversity. Many aquatic invasive species that are native to places such as Europe and Asia got a foothold in North America when they were imported in ballast water of commercial ships. Ballast is fresher salt water pumped into the cargo hold of a ship to make the ship more stable when they're empty. Non-native species of plants and animals can also be introduced by people who have water gardens, aquariums, or exotic pets, and release them into the environment. An example is the Burmese python in the Florida Everglades. Today in the Lake Champlain Basin, a common mode of uh, invasive species transport are recreational boats moving from places like southern New England, mid-Atlantic states, the Finger Lakes in New York, uh, even the Great Lakes, and potentially bringing invasive species to Lake Champlain. And another vector that people are probably unaware of is the Champlain Canal, which provides a direct connection from the Hudson drainage to Lake Champlain drainage. Oftentimes, aquatic invasive plants can reproduce with just a fragment of the plant, and aquatic invasive animals have life stages that are invisible to the naked eye. As a result, if an angler transports water in a live well, or if a watercraft or a trailer snags a plant fragment, small-bodied organisms and plants may be inadvertently introduced to new water bodies, and if that happens, they can establish new nuisance populations. Lake stewards greet recreational boaters at boat ramps throughout the Lake Champlain watershed. They inspect boats and trailers and speak with people to learn if they have inspected and cleaned their watercraft and trailer and allowed it to dry for at least three days. Boat wash stations are also available at five locations on Lake Champlain. Automatic car wash businesses have partnered to further help reduce the spread of aquatic invasive species. Compared to the Great Lakes, which have at least 187 known aquatic invasive species, Lake Champlain is doing much better, with only 51. But, each additional aquatic invasive species brings its own impacts. So, the goal is to keep new ones from becoming established. Unfortunately, once an aquatic invasive species is in a water body, it's difficult, if not impossible, to eradicate it. The best action we can take is to prevent introduction of these species to water bodies in the first place. The latest aquatic invasive species to be found in Lake Champlain was the fish hook water flea in fall of 2018. These tiny aquatic animals outcompete and prey on native zooplankton and are not a very good food source for fish, resulting in food web impacts. They also clog fishing lines, which therefore hinders uh, recreational, charter, and tournament fishing opportunities. Of particular concern are four invasive species that exist in nearby watersheds, but haven't established themselves in Lake Champlain yet. The public is asked to keep an eye out for these and to report any possible sightings. The species of most concern now include two fish species, Eurasian ruff and round goby, one plant species, hydrilla, and one mussel species, quagga mussels. Lake Champlain is a natural treasure. We all have a part to play in protecting it and the waters that drain to it now and into the future including keeping a close eye on aquatic species, especially by cleaning and drying your boat, 
kayak, or other recreational vessel between excursions. This video was produced by Lake Champlain Sea Grant, a partnership among the University of Vermont, SUNY Plattsburgh, and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. To learn more about Lake Champlain Sea Grant and to see other videos in this series, please visit our website.